Hey guys, so we're gonna do some baby lamb processing today. Um, I have my COVID-19 uh, buddy. We're staying a couple feet apart for now anyway here. But uh, we're going through, we had a baby that was born two days ago. You can't really see him, her in the uh, hay down there. She's pretty chill. Anyway, she's not yet been processed. Uh, as far as tags, tails, and all the things that we do to little guys a couple days after they're born. So, <clears throat> Grace is going through. Um, we've got this guy's ear tag picked out. This is a scrapey tag, um, which means it has a flock number on it, which would be this number up at the top. MN38661 is my individual flock number, so any sheep that come from me have that number on them. Um, we also have uh, individual numbers, so this number is specific to this sheep. Um, so, 0172. Um, typically the tags start, my tags start with the year that they're born in, so this year they would start with 2-0, uh, but I have run out, and this is the last or perhaps second or third to last baby to be born here, so we're just going to roll with tags from last year. Um, I always write on the inside of the tags um, what the baby is out of, just not only to help me with record keeping, but also for anybody who may potentially purchase these sheep. Um, so this particular baby is out of a buck or male called MJ and his mommy uh, we're just gonna refer to her as James uh, most of my sheep do not really get named by me however since they are residing at the Ag Learning Center typically they end up getting some kind of a name from somebody else so we have the ear tag ready to go um, we mark the inside of the tag with an all flex tagger pin um, permanent marker works just as good so our tag has been marked um, we're gonna use the ear tagger to put this in the ear it's just like getting an earring, it only hurts for a couple seconds and then we're good to go. So we're going to get our tag loaded into our tagger. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. So you simply push down on the clip to load the tag. Other end. Oops. There we go. Yep. Rotate. Rotate. The round part goes in the round end. There you go. Just like that. So we see it slides right into place, holds in like that, and put that part on the pin. There you go. Slide down, push it down to make sure it sits in there good. Voila. And then we can double check. We should be able to kind of close it and make sure the ends close together so it will fasten in the ear correctly. So our ear tag is loaded. We're also going to band the tail using our tail bander, or an elastrator is another name for it. So you simply squeeze the handle and it stretches. Grace, could you load a rubber band? Our rubber bands, or some people will call them Cheerios, are these tiny little things that you can see based on the size of my thumb. This thing's not very big. It's very thick, very stretchy. Um, the reason why we dock or remove the tails is basically for a cleanliness issue. If we don't remove the tails, they're gonna get full of poop and get stinky because they're not flexible like goat tails. So Grace has the rubber band on here, and I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. Typically, if you put the rubber band all the way back towards the back, it's harder to get the tail banded where you want it to. So I'm actually gonna slide it more towards the front of the teeth here. Not too close to the end where it's gonna pop off when she opens it. But you can see she can stretch it out. And then we can slide our tail through there. We usually, I usually double band them just to help it die a little bit faster. So the point of the rubber band is it doesn't really cause any harm or pain to the sheep. Um, the rubber band will cut off the circulation and eventually, usually within a week, that tail will fall off completely on its own and the wound will be all healed up and there should be no issues. I usually keep an eye on them if they start to get really stinky. We can give them um, some antibiotics, can get them treated, or in some cases we might finish cutting off the tail um, to help it heal a little faster. But by that point, there's not even any blood or anything to really worry about. The other thing we're going to do is this baby's going to get a shot of C, D, and T, Clostridium perfringens type C and D. So those are basically good bacteria for their stomachs that help them to not be overeating, um, which is something that baby lambs are very well known to do, especially if they don't get C and D. Um, and then tetanus, which everybody gets a tetanus shot, so hopefully we all kind of understand that. Um, so they'll also get a shot of that. And then we're also gonna ear tag his mommy with a flock tag. So all of my sheep, um, have one of these tags that tells me who their number is. This goes into my spreadsheet and I can keep track of all of the information. On the back, just like we did with the babies, I have who the parents are. So, there we go. All right, Grace has got the rest of the information, or the rest of the stuff here, huh? Which one first? Uh, it doesn't matter. 
There's another COVID-19 staying a socially acceptable six to ten foot away. Okay. So our baby is in this stall here. We've got a couple older babies that uh, have been getting a little TLC. So we're going to hop in the pen with mommy here. This is a first time mommy, so this is the first time she's had a baby. So mother sheep would be called a ewe. Baby would be called a lamb. So notice this one is white face, so she is a dorset, is her breed. Her baby is speckle face. So this one actually has a daddy who's got black face and black legs. He's some kind of a Hampshire Suffolk cross. He'd be some other breeds of sheep. All right, Grace is gonna get this little guy up. Right here. Okay. Yep. This little guy's kind of taking a snooze. We're gonna get him up. Let him stretch out for a second. He was born, not yesterday, but the day before. So he's an April Fool's baby. When Grace goes to band his tail, she's gonna take him. She's gonna spin him backwards. Now Grace has seen this done several times before. So she's been kind of trained in on how to do this. We're gonna make sure mommy doesn't knock her over here. <clears throat> so she's got her kind of situated between her legs where she can have control of the sheep and see what she's doing. And she's gonna stretch out her rubber band. There we go. Slide it over the tail. And she's gonna pull it up, in this case, as high up as she possibly can. Um, because this sheep will hopefully maybe be shown someday. Okay. Um, we want to make sure that the tail gets banded up nice and high. Now, not everybody bands it nice and high. Some people will leave it back an inch or maybe even longer, um, but cut off a, a long majority of it. So, in this case, Grace, I think we've got it pulled up pretty tight. So, when Grace has it where she wants it, she's going to release and let it go. And then we're going to give her the second one. She's going to load the band on the lastrator, <clears throat> or the bander. Get it stretched out. She's gonna slide it on. One thing too, Grace, you can do is if you twist your bander that way. Which so this twist it so this handle's up. Sometimes you can get it on a little further yet. Okay. And you might have to switch your hand. Whoop. Sorry, viewing audience. You might have to switch your hand a little bit. There you go. So she's got it stretched out. She's gonna go up and over. And if you can go further than the first one, you can go further than the first one even. So she's got it pulled into place. There we go. All right, let her go. Voila, tail's banded. Now, baby lambs are very dramatic, and it's also pinching on that nerve a little bit. So when Grace lets this thing go, it might kind of flop around, or it might think it's doing just fine. <coughs> now she thinks she's hungry, or just looking to mommy for some comfort anyway. Hi, baby. All right, so tail is banded within a week or so. That thing will probably fall off. So now Grace can get ready to give the ear tag. All right, so we're gonna grab the baby. Now this ear tagging sometimes is maybe more challenging. We tag all the females for my sheep in the right ear. So Grace is gonna put this tag in the right ear. So Grace, for our viewing audience here, what is the right ear? It would be... This one. Correct. So standing from behind the animal would be the same as your right. So in this case, as we're looking at it, it looks like the left. But if we go behind it, it is actually the right ear. So she's putting it in this ear. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Somebody can either hang on to the sheep and you can tag it. Or I usually am doing this by myself. So Grace is going to look like do kind of what I do. And kind of again squeeze the baby down here between your legs. Grab the tagger. I, p different people do this different ways. I usually put the pin of the tag in the back part of the ear. So Grace would flip it. That's usually how I do it. We're kind of shooting for just low, just below the center of the ear. Do you need me to hold it or are you going to be able to get it? Um, I probably, yeah, there we go. It's so hard. Right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so technical difficulties here. Grace hasn't tagged very many and it's okay. It's alright, we can get it. Okay. So. so now I've got the baby. Grace has the tagger. Go 
over towards the end of the ear more or two more there you go okay so she's got it where she wants it she's gonna punch you can hear it click and she's gonna pull it up just pull straight up oh, there you go and you can see here baby's got a nice little earring right in the middle of her ear you'll notice she didn't even really scream or anything oh now she's making noise now she's got her tag all ready to go and then Gotta make sure this thing stays healthy. We're gonna give it some CDNT. So Grace has a syringe. This is just a little three mil or three cc. ML is milliliter or uh, is the same as a cubic centimeter. CC is what most of you are familiar with. The needle on here is a skinny, oh no, grab the cap. Skinny little needle for babies. So this one is a half inch long and it is a uh, 22 gauge. So it's a pretty skinny little needle. Most of the time when we give shots on bigger sheep, we're gonna use a bigger gauge or be a smaller number. So like an 18 gauge needle. The smaller the number, the bigger the needle. Okay, Grace is gonna read the directions to make sure she knows how much she's drawing out of there and how to properly give the shot. Um, two. Two mils or two cc's, yep. So she's gonna poke the needle into the end. Pull black on the plunger. I already shook this up so it's shaking and ready to go. We did not get that on camera. Great concentration is required in Grace pulling out the drug from the bottle. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. So she's gonna put our cap back on for safety purposes. That way I don't get a swift jab in the behind or something. Good. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to grab the baby. Now for this, usually, <clears throat> I hold the syringe in one hand and flip them upside down and give it in the bottom flank. For those not versed in giving lots of sheep shots, that might be challenging. So I'm going to hold the baby kind of upside down like this. Here's the flank down here. Sorry if you weren't expecting that. Um, Grace is going to get our needle and syringe ready to go. And she's going to poke it just under the skin here. Right there. Right there in the flank. The rear flank. Sorry if you don't like needles. Poke. She's just under the skin, not in the muscle. Yep, right there. Grace did a nice job, and she's going to slowly push the medication in. When she's done, she's going to pull back the syringe and then give it a little poke. Just to make sure everything stays in. And we're done. Now the only thing left to do is give mommy her new ear tag because she did not get that yet. Do you have that? I have that in my pocket. So again, Grace is gonna load the ear tag backwards. There we go. She's gonna pinch it to make sure that it lines up. Okay. Now, with these bigger ones, I don't really care which ear it's in. Since this ear already has a big tag in and this ear does not, we're gonna shoot for this ear that has a little tag in. Bigger sheep are usually gonna fight a little bit more. Let's slide this one right. out of the way. So shoot for about right where my thumb is at. Okay. Now this sheep could potentially jump. Hopefully not. Grace is gonna pinch quick. Got it. Not got it. Uh oh. So. <laughs> This is what, what happens when we have technical difficulties, which happens, you know, semi-frequently. So, apparently, did we rip her ear? It looks like we did not squeeze quite fast enough. And, uh, we did not rip the ear, but we got a little bit of some wool on there. And our tag snapped together. Good job, Grace. But it didn't snap together in the ear, so. Um, troubleshooting is we get a new tag. Problem is... I'm out of tags. <laughs> so, she'll get a new earring on another day, apparently. But, that's how we process little babies. Sorry, Mommy. Next time. <laughs> it's, it's like when you go to the mall and they're not working, and you're, like, so disappointed because you didn't get that new earring you wanted. But your parents are happy. Anyway, so this cutie is all ready to go. Say hello to the camera. Corona. That's right. First name Corona, last name Virus. <laughs> Alright. Adios.